gentlemen back again with another video how you guys doing i am looking a little crusty since i have been in quarantine i'm currently in north carolina so the state is still shut down we're not like georgia where i could go get my nails and my toes and my eyebrows done but since i can't i figured the next best thing is to do like this little impromptu video where i show you guys sugar wax and how to make it so what is sugaring sugaring is basically Okay, I don't really know what sugaring is, but I know the ingredients that make up sugar wax. So I'm qualified to do this, I promise. So the process of making sugar wax kind of parallels the process of making caramel. You literally just take sugar and water, melt it down on the stove, let it caramelize, and you add lemon juice to it. After you do that, it's just a process of getting it to the right consistency where you can actually spread it over your skin and start waxing yourself. Some of the benefits of sugar waxing is just that if you have sensitive skin, it's a lot better than hard wax that you would see at places like European Wax Center or like any waxing chain facilities like you'll see the hard wax. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is gonna be a very short video. It's not gonna be like the videos I usually make but hopefully you can get something out of it in this quarantine season. I also hope that everyone is staying healthy, staying safe out there, staying indoors regardless if your state is open. Let's get into the sugar ring. I'm so excited. All right, if you guys can hear like some talking in the background, my dad is in the garage, so nothing I can do about that. So we have made it to the cooking part of today's video. So you're only gonna need your three ingredients as well as like a pot of some sort. I'm just using like this little saucepan and yeah, we're gonna take it to the stove and we're gonna make our wax. So let's get to it. So the first thing you want to do is put your stove on a medium high heat. If you put it too high, it's going to burn the mixture. And I'm just adding everything into a pot right now. Water and the sugar in there, and now we're pouring in the lemon juice. And you're just going to whisk that until it caramelizes. So while our sugar wax is heating up on the stove, I just want to say, if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. And while you're subscribing, make sure you hit that post notification bell in the corner because YouTube does not always let you guys know when I post. And I would hate for y'all to miss any of my dumb impromptu video ideas. Let's go ahead and check back on the stove and see how our wax is doing. Burn. Y'all know? But you, are you standing? Yeah, but I'm using this camera right now. Oh, but that was your I see myself. I like this. Yeah. So as you can see, you guys, we're getting like a syrupy, simple syrup base here. And you just want to keep it moving. We're starting to get that thick syrup consistency that we want. And you'll start to notice how this is turning like a yellowish brown. So our sugar is caramelized. Once it gets to this color, you want to immediately take it off the heat. You want to keep stirring at this stage. This is where it's going to become that waxy consistency that we're looking for. You just wanna keep stirring this as it cools until you can form like a solid ball with it. It's like the consistency of honey at this point. It's been about a few minutes of stirring. We're at this consistency. It's still a little too runny, but you can kind of see where we're going with this. Well, now that we're at this step, the wax is extremely hot. So I caution you guys to be very careful on this next step. So you're going to just get out all your wax. You're going to want to have a cup of water handy. I'm gonna wet your hands before you touch the wax, just so, um, It'll cool it down and you don't burn yourself. And you're just going to shape it into like a little ball as it starts to cool. And this is actually a little bit more cooled. I stirred it for a little bit too long. So I have a lot left in the pot, but you're just gonna wanna keep shaping this until it cools down. See if I can like scrape out the rest of what's in this pot. Once you heat it up, it doesn't really cause a mess, so you don't have to worry about like your pots being messed up. But this is it, this is our sugar wax. Also guys, it smells so good. You can add anything that you want to your wax. If you want more than just lemon, you could add probably like some essential oils, maybe like some things that are really, really good for your skin. But this is our finished product. Yay, look how stretchy. So it's been about five minutes and the wax has cooled down. So we're gonna go ahead and start spreading it on my arm. 
So you want to just take a little amount. This like sticks together really well. You don't want to use too much because we're going to spread this pretty thin and kind of just don't do what I'm doing and get it all over your fingers because then you end up with a sticky mess. You want to try to spread this as thin as possible across your arm. Just kind of spread that out. And yeah. Ooh, it's like hardening on my arm. Okay, you want to spread that out. Make sure that's like it is. Yeah, you want to do a better job than what I did. You have to make sure that you move pretty fast in this process. I'm going to do what I did again. And yeah, we got, we got some hair. We'll try it one more time. I'm going to try to move a little bit faster and just put the wax on as soon as I get it out the cup. And yeah, that's a lot better, a lot better. It's, I actually feel like I'm doing something. Oh yeah, so that actually, that one was a good one. This, we're going to peel. Wow, this actually works. We grip, we just rip. Well everyone, I'm going to give you my honest conclusion. Did I wax all of my arms? No, I didn't. It was taking entirely too long, but I got the footage that I needed for the video, so it all worked out. So some pros and cons to making your own uh, sugar wax and actually using it. Pro number one, it is very easy to make sugar wax. It doesn't require any ingredients that you probably wouldn't already have on hand. So like I said, we only use sugar, water, and lemon juice for this recipe, and we just cooked it down on the stove until it turned into like that caramel substance that we had earlier so making the sugar wax was really easy and not only did it take very few ingredients but it took very few tools to actually make it so if you have a stove and a pot you can pretty much make sugar wax so some of the cons to sugar wax and I honestly hate to say that there are more cons to me personally than there are pros is that one it's very sticky after using it it left my skin feeling very sticky and that's probably due to the fact that one third of it is made of sugar it's literally a ball of sugar so you are going to have like sticky fingers sticky arms sticky legs or sticky you know what if you decide to use sugar wax in your body hair removal Another negative, and this kind of might tie in with the fact that it's really sticky, is the fact that it's very messy. So I know you guys saw me trying to like get the sugar wax out without having like all the stringy, sugary, waxy pieces flying everywhere all over my hands, all over my arms. It kind of got annoying after the third dip of my finger trying to get it out, but we persevered. Lastly, one of the biggest cons to the sugar wax is the fact that it doesn't really pull out a lot of hair while you're using it. Granted, a lot of things could have gone wrong with my sugar wax, so it might just be my batch, but if I had more patience in using it, I could definitely remove all the hair from my arms and my legs with no problem. Well, you guys, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else for you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it's very impromptu. I know we don't do a lot of like beauty and lifestyle things on this channel, but it killed the time and I hope you guys got some type of entertainment out of it. It. Again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I don't know why you wouldn't already be subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. And while you're subscribing, make sure you hit that post notification bell because YouTube does not always let you guys know when I post. And I would hate for y'all to miss any more. You guys stay safe out there. Make sure you're washing your hands and maintaining a social distance. But you stay tight and I'll catch you guys another late night. Bye. Did you like...